whether some people want to admit it or not, having seasons of silence in your life is very necessary. And what I mean by that, there may be times that you want to lash out, you want to say something, you want to be justified, but the Lord will absolutely have you to keep your mouth closed and to sit still. He'll say, bring every emotion and everything that you're feeling to me. Spewing out venom to man is not going to change anything. You can speak your whole heart and feel justified, but it can still carry you straight to hell. It can still cause you to be by yourself. It can still cause you to just make the energy around you intolerable. So some of us need to accept that there will be seasons in your life where you will sit still and that you don't need to absolutely say or do nothing to anybody but God. And it sounds easy to say, but when we're going through something, it is so hard sometimes to get up out of wallowing and, and sadness and offense. The only way to fix that is if you constantly every day get up and have a relationship with him, you ask him, Father God, help me. I'm toe up right now internally. Help me. Things are getting on my nerves. Somebody wronged me. Somebody made me feel some type of way. You cannot open your mouth and spew everything out and speak your whole heart. Even the word tells us that. But some of us, like me, our epic failed. And you felt like you just had to say what you wanted to say or we're going to burn you up. If this resonates to you, close your mouth if that's this season for you. If it calls for next season where God like you better shut up because you can end up destroying your destiny, wanting to get somebody told so you can feel better on the inside. And it absolutely does nothing. Essentially, that's something we all need to learn and understand, but very few can master that. So if you can take anything from this today, make sure you understand that if that if this is a season where God has called you to be quiet and pray and let me take it a little bit further. You're going to be called to, to pray and be silent a lot in your life. But there will be certain seasons where God is going to tell you, especially if you are staying grounded in him, he would tell you, don't say nothing. I know it's burning you up. I know you want to get mad. I know you want to run up on somebody. But being truly broken before God is what makes a person let go of themselves, their ego, their pride. So if you are realizing that that's something that you need to do, Quite frankly, shut up. I'm telling you, because you would thwart your own destiny, always wanting to make sure that ain't nobody going to punk you or making sure that ain't nobody going to say this or that to me. And it took me years to realize the strongest person is somebody that can control their emotions. Somebody can like, you got it. And let everybody think whatever they want to think. But when you have to lash out and get up and want to fight every single time somebody says something to you, you have a problem. And the reason why I can sit here and say this to some people is because I lived it. So if somebody can take something from this today, you can be, you can work on yourself. Like I talked about yesterday, work on things, goals. That's something that if you know you have a problem with closing your mouth and you got to say something to somebody every time you almost ready to fight and come to blows, you need a deliverance. You need God to help you. You need God to ask you. I don't care if you got to stop and run in the bathroom, run in the closet, run to the car. But if you need to stop and say, Jesus, I need your help and I cannot do this. You might want to get on to the bathroom. You might want to get on to the car. You might want to step out and catch a breather by yourself. Because some of us, whether you want to admit it or not, and I'm one that's guilty, every time you justified in telling the truth, that that's not going to help you. Especially in today's world, because truth seems to offend people. We don't want it to make us better and convict us. It offends us. And if you can get a whole bunch of people to jump on the bandwagon and make you see your point of offense and they're taking on your offense, what good did it cause you? The strongest and best thing you can do, learn to do is be quiet. And if you know that you've been praying and reading and God has told you the next time something comes up, I need for you to be quiet if you ain't talking to me. That's what I wanted to say today. I hope everybody has a productive day. I hope that you keep going. I hope that everybody has set goals. And let goals be on things that maybe you need to change some things about you on the inside. Don't 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 keep hollering to Jesus about a car, a man, 
a house and all these things because he knows exactly what you need but all the stuff inside of you if you don't change that you're not going to be able to sustain it you're not going to be able to keep it your mind and your heart has to be aligned and you have to say god i can't do this on my own so at this point think about that